What is up and what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm SoCal Shawlin. I'm in Houston, Texas. But you know, every time I come to Houston, I gotta check out the local toy stores. And I'm here at one of my favorites, Misfit Toys. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Hopefully we find something cool to take home for the collection. So let's get this toy hunt started. If this is your first time tuning in. Subscribe to the channel. Keep up with all the toy hunts. Go back, check out my past ones as well. So let's get this toy hunt started. Here we have some Transformers retro figures reissues. I believe these were Walmart exclusives. Very cool to see. I'm kind of bummed I didn't pick up some of those when they were at Walmart. Uh, but here we have a whole wall of Marvel Legends for you Marvel Legends collectors out there. And down on the floor was a huge stack of vintage Barbie dolls, play sets, and accessories. As you can see here, my girlfriend is definitely intrigued in all this stuff here on the ground and she's gonna be going through that here there's a little state fair some barbie six o'clock news and head on over to the left and see what else is here at misfit toys got the wall of marvel legends got that water blaster cannon from spider-man from the 90s and then here is the lost world dressed park mobile command center trailer playset sealed in the box that thing is beautiful i know a lot of you jp collectors out there uh, lo love that set that thing is pretty awesome and then we have a whole bunch of batman anime series figures here that clay face always looks really awesome and then my girlfriend's definitely checking out every piece here on the ground and then on this wall we have some master universe classics next to that we got some golden girl from galoob much like Princess of Power, these were action figures geared towards you know, the young ladies of the 80s. Down here we have some Charlie's Angels, MASH, and then some weird Safari and Fireman, Spider-Man figures from the 90s. Those were crazy, funny. And more Spider-Man here is some soap. I did not actually open the box to see what the soap looked like, but I'm assuming it's brand new, but definitely it's in a cool box. Down here we got some, looks like some phones for G.I. Joe Vintage phones. A bunch of Jurassic Park, newer Jurassic Park stuff here. And then VHS, a bunch of VHS for sale for you VHS collectors. And then some bins of Katie's goodness over there. And here we have some Jurassic Park items, the bins. Uh, let me know, JP collectors, is there anything good here that you spot it? I'm not that up to date on the Jurassic Park stuff so I, I don't know what in there was pretty good uh, but here we got some vintage Star Wars figures in the glass case as well as some more Star Wars here on the wall. Vintage Star Wars is always on the rise. Every time I seem to look up some figures, it seem to always be going up in price. But if you want to start collecting, you definitely gotta have to have a Darth Vader like this one right here. Here's a Child's Play. Good guy doll, Chucky in the box, brand new. Very cool to see, as well as the Chipmunks on tour van. Traveling playset, recently picked up some of the Chipmunk figures. So you might be seeing those in a future video big fan of Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. Loose turtle figures here. Lots of turtles, lots of turtles. Love seeing the turtles. Here's an awesome Spider in the box, as well as a Ramble Salt Jet. Very cool to see those. There's a little case full of uh, tiny little Ultraman plastic figures, much like Muscle Man. And then some tin lunch boxes here in the glass case. Six million dollar man, Teddy Ruxpin. Bionic Woman and a couple of Grey Skulls and Snake Mountains for sale, 50% off. And then Misfit Toys has probably one of the biggest selections of Transformers toys I have seen in any store. Definitely the Transformers headquarters here in Houston. And 
and then Master Universe Vintage. Lots of great figures here for sale. Purple Man at Arms, Prince Adam, Stendar, and then some more turtle figures down here. This is a Holzum Don. That one's a cool figure. Definitely want to pick up one of these days. And then a Ray Fillet in the package and on box. Very cool. Starship Eternia is a set you don't see very often on the toy stores from the 90s Master Universe cartoon series when they are in space. Got some sectars in the glass case, a weapons rack in the back. And then we got the powers of Grace Cole prehistoric figures over here, the dinosaurs, that T-Rex. Definitely a piece I would love to have in the collection one of these days. Pretty pricey but it is rare and then you got just some bunch of little things here and there of Moto, you got the card game, you got a cassette recorder in the box and then this set right here was the over the top this is the complete set the figures and some accessories I believe uh, it was priced at $2,000 all men on card but I've never seen those before in person over the top of course is that's the Roger Stallone arm wrestling movie from the 80's awesome movie if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out over the top. Cool, Super Solo movie. Another quick look at some of the figures here. Tron, figures there by Tomy. And we get into some big Transformers figures here on top of the glass case. A Stretch Screamers figure. That thing was pretty awesome. Kind of looks like the creature from Black Lagoon. Here's an Ewok family hut. Place it in the box. And right next to it is the infamous Shapeshifters Punisher action figure. And for those of you who don't know why this is famous, definitely look them up. You'll see why. Definitely one of those infamous band toys from the history of toys. Awesome. Plenty of band toys out there, but that's definitely one that is crazy crazy and you can definitely see why they got banned and then more Star Wars figures here you got an R2-D2 Luke Skywalker in the back from the 12 inch line some Godzilla stuff there you got the laying down Godzilla and very cool light blue colors and lots more Star Wars toys here in this back section of Misfit Toys awesome visit as always. All right, everyone, we are out of Misfit Toys. This time I got me from a girlfriend. She definitely uh, loaded up on the toy haul. I only got one item to take home. But uh, as you can see here, I'm, I'm helping her carry her stuff because she got a good deal. That was she just right here at Misfit Toys. So yeah, we're gonna go to the car and then uh, we're gonna show you guys exactly what she picked up. So my girlfriend definitely, definitely beat me on this toy hunt today. She picked up all these Barbie playsets from the 80s for practically nothing. Ten bucks. One was five. It was insane. And then she got one item that I'll show you at the end. But first, we're going to show you a closer look at some of the playsets she got. It was insane. Everything is brand new inside the box. The boxes are a little... I have a little wear and tear, nothing too much, all from the 80s. I think one is from 1990, and everything inside is untouched. Still in baggies, all the sticker sheets unused, so practically brand new, just open, except for one, like the newest place that was the only thing that was open, and this thing was missing like one or two pieces. Uh, she got that for five bucks. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a closer look at some of those places she got. Okay, so here are some of the sets that she picked up. We got Barbie Hawaiian Beach Party. So it's like a pretty much a tiki bar playset. 
You got the bar, you got the cups, the pina colada right there, the bongo drums. So everything is sealed, which is nuts. It, the box is open, but everything inside is sealed. It's never been touched. This is the other set. This is the movie award set. Again, another one that was opened, but everything inside is sealed. All the contents are sealed. You got those uh, Grammy Award type of things or Academy Awards since it's the movie awards. So that's pretty cool. And then she got this thing. This is the Wet and Wild Barbie lifeguard stand. Looks like it. I f flipped it around and here you have a, like a little beach set. Pretty cool. So she definitely got a whole bunch of good pieces here. This set is called the Cool Top Skipper T-shirt shop. So I guess Skipper is Barbie's little sister and she has her own T-shirt shop in this place set. Like I said, on the other as the other places, this is untouched. Everything inside was brand new. Nothing has been opened. All the little plastic pieces are still on there. Plastic trees, unpunched. And then, yeah, it comes with all these t-shirts, all these little designs, print designs. A little stamper, you can put all these designs on the t-shirts. So, not bad, pretty cool. And the most impressive place that she picked up was the 6 o'clock news Barbie. Insane. This thing is huge. Everything unpunched. Still brand new. All the sticker sheets are still there. Untouched. Of course, the box shows a little bit wear, but I mean, everything inside is brand new. So this is a new set for Barbie and Ken. This Barbie TV game show set was the only one. She picked up that was not complete and was actually used. Uh, not everything is included, but this was only five bucks. I mean, unbelievable price. At least you got the box, and then she got most of the play sets. I think she, this is here, the camera. I think it's missing just the backdrop, really. But it has all this other stuff for this play set. That was a lot of Barbie. And somehow, magically, she got it all to fit in our luggage. I luckily I am a light packer, so I helped her put some of her stuff in the luggage. When you travel, it's hard to pick up big items because it's hard to put it in your luggage, and then you gotta worry about getting smashed and stuff. So luckily, we have the, like those hard shell cases, uh, luggages, so it's more protected. Uh, but she, somehow she got it all to fit. She's an amazing packer, so. That was awesome getting all that home. Uh, before I show you the last pickup, and which I think it's the best pickup of this toy hunting trip, I'm gonna show you what I picked up. I picked up one item. It's a Masters of the Universe item. Uh, it's not a toy, not a figure. It's a game. This is the Masters of the Universe War and Conquer giant card game set. You got He-Man on the front. So that's like two games you can play: War or Conquer. And this pretty much, I think it's like Go Fish. I was reading the rules, so it's very simple. It's sealed, but I, I, I'm gonna open it. I'm eventually gonna open it. We're gonna play, play with my son, girlfriend. We'll do a little card game battle. And they look like big giant poker cards with the characters on them and then numbers. So nothing too exciting, but it's a cool little box here to display. And then yeah, I'll eventually we'll open this and. Put a little card games. A little simple card game. Masters Universe style. The final pickup of this Toy Hunting Adventure. And the best pickup of the day, I believe. And I think you might agree with me as well. It belongs to my girlfriend. Uh, with a little assist by me. We were looking at some of the Golden Girl action figures. She's starting to collect those too. Because once you're almost done with She-Ra, she's missing like maybe two of the like really hard to find ones. Like Bubble, She-Ra and stuff which sometimes go for over a thousand dollars uh you go on to the next one golden girl is a toy line that's pretty similar to the princess of power she run and this probably is the most rares of them all at least the most expensive one uh as i was searching through like soul listings before and then, uh, so i kind of knew already about this figure and i saw it hanging on the shelf and i told her this is you got you get any one of these this is the one you have to get and i'm talking about pris Prince Chroma, right here. Mint on the box, sealed. This guy is nuts. He has some crazy hairdo and a bright blue cape. <laughs> and this guy is insane. He 
super valuable from what I've seen. So listings, uh, the only big issue here is like the little curve here on the card, but nothing crazy. This guy is insane. I've seen recent soul listings of this guy have, have gone for like $200, $250, and a few are listed for a lot. Even like loose ones, broken ones, uh, like listed for like $100 starting bids. So this is an insane pickup. Picked it up for like 50 bucks. It was crazy, like the price. Uh, this is insane. This is a cool piece that she's going to add to her collection. And yeah, Golden Girl. So Golden Girl is in a line much like She-Ra and awesome. Uh, that Palace of Gems is insane. If anyone has any leads on where to get one of those, let me know because we're definitely interested in getting one of those for her collection. I think it actually looks better than the Princess of Power Crystal Palace playset. But this is Prince Chroma. Uh, like I said, I think this is the best pickup of the day. Definitely the most valuable. And we got it for pretty much uh, nothing. It was a great, insane deal. Misfit Toys always hooks it up with the deals. Uh, every time we go back to Houston, we always got to visit them. Daniel has an awesome shop down there in the Heights. And there's another location in another part of Houston. And then the manager there, they always shoot us right. Always hook it up with deals. Uh, always showing love to the channel. And awesome. Always awesome visit there. And Misfit Toys, they extended the store. They made it a little bit bigger than the last time. Uh, so always a great time going there. So if you live anywhere near Houston, plan on visiting Houston, definitely check out Misfit Toys if you want to pick up some cool vintage toys. And they always got deals there, man. Always. And especially become a regular customer. Uh, but those are the pickups for this toy hunting adventure. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you thought of all the Barbie stuff. Was it too much? Was it not enough? It's never enough, right? You us collectors we like picking up stuff uh but it was an awesome awesome trip uh go ahead and leave the comments down below hit the like button if you enjoyed the video if you're not subscribed to the channel yet definitely hit the subscribe button to keep up with all the toy hunting adventures and also go back check out the past ones um so cal shawlin thanks again everybody for watching leave those comments also give me a follow on instagram at so cal shawlin and i'll catch you on the next toy hunt good luck everyone out there i am out mm -hmm.